if you are a company and you're trying to get the attention of a journalist, think about what is that journalist interested in writing about? You have some random, I have this person, and I won't say his name. In fact, I don't even know his name, but he, he pings me literally every day that he does um, drone advertising in the sky. And I'm thinking, what what is it about me that makes <laughs> yeah. him think that I care about drone <laughs> advertising in the sky? I, I haven't really written about drones. I don't really write about advertising. Mm -hmm. I don't write about aviation. I, what is it? What, what does he think that that's, you know, and so... The question is, what do journalists want to talk about? And so you have to fit whatever it is that you're doing into their narrative. That's the most mm -hmm. that's that's the most effective thing you can do. The other thing you can do is almost, you know, and I don't mean to say this lightly, but you know, you almost want to write the article for them. Like, and I don't mean they're, they're obviously going to put their own premature on it. They're going to change stuff. They're going to, you know, do their editing. But to the extent you can make their job easier, that's really key because newsrooms, as you guys know, have been shrunk. Mm -hmm. TV newsrooms, print newsrooms. You know, I, I know people in New York that are, you know, having to write, you know, eight, between eight and 10, 200 to 400 word articles per day. It's a lot. And if someone is asked to, has, has to write, you know, 400 times eight, that's 3,200 words, but also eight ideas, eight yeah. very different ideas, and then make sure they're edited and da, 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 da. If you're under that type of pressure, you don't have time to be like strategic and thinking, let's go have yeah. coffee. And how many times are, are some, is someone you know, is hitting me up saying, let's go have coffee. I don't have time to have coffee. Right, yeah. right. Tell me what's your idea. Give me your pitch. And if I like it, then you're going to send me something more extensive. And so yeah. I think that a lot of times companies don't understand that. They think that these journalists, it's like, it's like the, the Mad Men era that was yeah. advertising, but you know, mm -hmm. they're having like three martinis lunches and they got plenty of time and they're working on one story a month. That's not the way it works anymore. Yeah. Newsrooms are completely different. So you need to get into that sort of mode of operating if you want to attract the attention of, of a journalist and then also make it personalize it. So, you know, I know you wrote about X, yeah. you know, last week, would you be interested in following up on, you know, X, Y, which is a little bit different, but sort of similar and related. And maybe the person's like, no, I, I wrote on there. I'm not going to write on something else. Okay. Well, what, what are you writing on now? What, yeah. what are, what types of stories are you looking for? I love it when someone says, Hey, what, how can I help you? You know, and a PR person will come up to me and they'll say, I have 15 clients. What are you working on? Maybe one of them can fit into what you're doing. And I'm like, Oh, I'm actually doing a story. That's, oh, I have this client with, you know, they, they kind of put the pieces together. And that's Making something that I stats. think that a really good PR person does and a really good communicator behind that PR, the PR person would figure out, okay, I know that that journalist is going to write about this. How do I, you know, make that linkage between the media opportunity and the core messaging of that client that, that meets that client's sort of underlying business needs?